solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as the trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. Raku, one of the themes I'm curious about in the podcast is around transitions, both mm-hmm. uh, organizational transitions and leader transitions. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the book, uh, in one of the sections, you say that uh, organizations often praise the Bhima types or the Sahadeva types. Uh, they're often visible and they're celebrated. But the Nakula types often are behind the scenes. Yeah. connecting. That the is the Nakula archetype. Correct. So when the, when the Nakula, uh, let's say people with a dominant Nakula characteristic transition from one company to another, what, what's, what's been your observation on how they build trust and how they build traction as they take on, uh, take on charge in a new environment? Um, see, there are a couple of questions that come to my mind in what you're asking. Now, one is, has an organization selected you and said, I need you, a Nakula type, to come in? Yes. Yeah, then it's a wise choice, no? So mm-hmm. this organization has probably been through an entrepreneurial phase, mm-hmm. right? And now it needs to create a stable team and create order. Correct. Now, if you keep on pushing the Bhima at this point of time, the organization will never stabilize. Correct. Right? So it's a wise thing to do to bring in a, a Nakula person to really create the, the institutional grounding, right? Not just the win, right? But the us, now, what does it mean to be us? Who are we, right? Why do we exist? Now, what does it mean to work together? Now, these are the kind of questions that a Nakula can a- enable, mm. right? That energy can enable. Mm. You also need stability and certainty. Right? So you actually need this, these three people to work together. Yes. So if the organization has made a wise choice, it's very easy then because the Nakula is valued already when they're coming in. Mm-hmm. And they have a space and others also know the space. Right? Though the basic characteristic of a Nakula is to stay in the background, mm-hmm. is to create the infrastructure. If I may come in there, Raku, uh, I used to be a search consultant earlier in my right. previous life. And uh, in a lot of these situations, I would notice that the hiring manager often appreciates the Nakula characteristics and often has made the choice. But uh, if you look at the leaders, incoming leaders playground, the mm-hmm. subordinates, the peers, and some of the others may not may have to discover that characteristic, may not know that on day zero. Of Sometimes uh, I find that in those situations, derailments can happen. So I was wondering. It is difficult, but. See, it depends on, I, I might have a dominant Nakula characteristic. Mm. But I can also supplement it with some Bhima and others. Na? Mm. Now, to get into certain uh, general management areas, if I'm in a, in a you know, specialized management area, mm. then let's say if I'm a, a, a very good Sahadeva, I don't have to worry about creating too many other capabilities. Mm. But I'm in a, if I'm in a general management area, mm. I have to balance my dominant propensity with other capabilities. Right? Uh, a Nakula, for example, has to know how to bargain, has to know how to say no. Mm. Yeah, right? And things like this. If they don't, the probability of their being taken for granted is high. Mm. Right? And the other, and this is why I was talking about understanding the shadow and all that before. Right, the Nakulas generally tend to wait to be bestowed honor or bestowed recognition. They very rarely ask for it. Mm. Now, if as a Nakula, I'm not aware of this, and if I don't know how to you know, look at it and say, okay, I have to learn how to draw boundaries and say no, it will become a problem. Yeah, and... General tendency is 
not to understand how much of value nakula brings them mm. true right it's their absence that pinches because people have taken this person's offering for granted and gone on doing all kinds of things like even in the mahabharata na arjuna goes gallivanting all over if nakula hasn't kept his weapons clean and his horse ready and all that when arjuna comes back there will be no horse or weapons to fight with he's the enabler right yeah he's, he's an absolutely essential enabler and i have a feeling going forward you were asking me earlier na the more uncertain the world becomes the more the creation of reliable infrastructure will become crucial right you can't make agile changes without a stable infrastructure mm. it's interesting when you say infrastructure it's not just the the traditional sense in which it's used but also this human human, human thing infrastructure. Then what? you come suddenly and you tell me hey man yesterday's business is gone tomorrow's business is this Mm-hmm. if i don't have a strong feeling of us if i don't have a place to speak about my anxieties and discover a, a way of responding right it's going to become very disturbing no so who creates this emotional infrastructure mm-hmm. especially to take sharp changes in 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 the reality of the world without this emotional infrastructure it will be very difficult another transition context you talk about uh, ragu in the book uh, i'll read from the book you say mahabharata tells us that the mark of a leader is not one who's great at solving problems like a achilles but one who can understand the dharma sankata inflection points call for wisdom and reanchoring of one's values hmm. finding new inner resources to make the right choices and investing one's full conviction and energy in that choice hmm. i found the the you know it's not somebody who comes and pushes and pushes but somebody who can sort of question the paradigm and move absolutely the so can you expand on this uh, see see traditionally uh, leadership has been looked at uh, from the center of the organization right moment you click and you say organize organogram there will be one pyramid that comes up now this is an archaic i, I think in today's context meaningless way of thinking of an organization right what you really need for leadership is somebody who's at the edge of the organization mm-hmm. not sitting in the center right now what is this person doing sitting at the edge of the organization he is having a view of the world as it is emerging and he is having a view inside to see what are the capabilities of this organization mm-hmm. right and it's very simple now ash peace law right the capabilities of an organism have to be greater than the challenges from the environment for if it has to survive so leadership today in a changing context is to continuously ensure that the capabilities of the organization are one step ahead of the challenges that are going to come from the environment you're not going to know this if you're sitting on top here and trying to make people do mm-hmm. what you want you got to be at the edge and be able to look at what the future is right and then communicate it back and create a response structure which can follow this mm-hmm. right that is critically the arjuna capability the capability of staying at the boundary where does arjuna ask all his great questions here between the two armies no middle of the ground right so you have to stand there understand what's going to happen here and then pull from here and say hey this is what's going to happen and if you have this nakula this thing of a very you know capable set of core group and you've created the capabilities here they will know how to respond you don't have to direct them beyond that that's the abcd i talked about na so this person has to be aware balanced contextually intelligent and know the values he cannot right the values of an organization cannot be changed quickly because they are the deepest layer you can change the technology mm-hmm. you can change some structure and systems but 
value thing you cannot change. So why am I in business at a human level has to be answered clearly. And then the navigation you can do is largely based on that. That will not shift that easily. Mm -hmm.